Welcome everyone to the highlights of Fight Lab 61 on August 24th and Noda on Let's quickly get into the highlights. It is Billy Jack Cut vs. Miles Duff on the back on the submission match. This would end up being Moving on to amateur MMA is Anthony Riddick vs. Stuart Gillette. Felt good. Uh, I was a little sloppy, got caught in that choke, but uh, I was either going to pass out or just get out of it eventually. So eventually I got out of it. Yeah. You got a great team behind you. Tell us a little about the training you went into. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, working at Brunson's MMA and Fitness. Um, real down to earth gym. Everybody's looking to help you out. Um, got my coach, Dre Hurd. Of course, Derek Brunson, who's top 10 in the UFC, you know, and it's really, it really is a blessing to have somebody at that level to work with, because um, you know not everybody has that opportunity to work with somebody of that caliber. So it's definitely a blessing. Well, what's next for you after this? Uh, I'm looking to go three and zero. So whenever I can fight next, I'll take the fight. <laughs> The next amateur MMA bout features Josh Mouse Claudio versus Nick Harvey. Mouse picked up this fight on short notice within the past week of this fight. But Shamit Harvey would get the Harvey, man, tell us about that, uh, the last stage of that fight there, getting that, uh, that choke. First off, I want to say I respect uh, bro because he took this fight on short notice. He found out like about Wednesday because my opponent pulled out, so he stepped up. Uh, the head and arm choke, it was there. I just had to make sure I squeeze and take my time on the ground. Yeah, what, what's changed with your training? The last time we talked, whenever you got the win, uh, to now you look like you uh, stepped up that, uh, Man, I just, uh, I'm trying to step up my game because, as you know, highest time over there, pros, we got Taco, Brian, Roger, they all perform at the high level. I'm just trying to get up there with them. Yeah. Who do you want to thank for this? Uh, I want to thank my coaches. First off, Coach Kevin, Tom, Tony, all my training partners that helped me out. Uh, Keith, he's fighting tonight. He, he helped me spar, so really appreciate it. Moving on to the first pro fight of the night is Coach Chase Gamble versus Roger. Left the front row. This is something we haven't seen since UFC one. It's MMA in a gi.
Chase Gamble, congrats, man. How was it fighting in the gi? Man, it was awesome. Uh, I've been talking, I, when I tell people about it, when I told people about it, they were kind of like turned their nose up at it. And I asked a simple question. I said, do you want to see finishes? They said, yeah, of course. We don't want to see a fight go to the judges. I said, well, you had a, you had a gi in, and there's probably a million finishes. So uh, that, I was just excited to, to the first chance I got to grab a hold of the gi and to do something justice, something beautiful, something that'll do BJJ, do Roger justice. I didn't want to go out there and like try to hold on to him or you know punch. I wanted to do something in the gi, man. This is just amazing. I, I believe there's some people that want the winner. I'm ready. Uh, let's go. You'll get strangled, too. <laughs> just, just talk to us about, because you're a coach and you've been in this game for such a long time, what do you tell guys who poo-poo who the gi and doesn't think that's a, that's a not a strike? Going in MMA. Man, I, I think it's I think it's absolutely crazy. Uh, the gi has taught me more than I could could imagine. And then as far as you know, if you're using your martial arts for your life, um, I mean, you don't ever fight out in the street, or you won't ever have an interaction where you're in your underwear without your shirts on. You know, your interactions in the street for self-defense is going to be in a shirt or in a jacket or in pants. Um, so I think as far as for people understanding what the martial arts side is, I think that it separates it from being a Neanderthal fight. It, it changes it a little bit. And I think it brings the context. Okay, now this, that can be used in the street. I could do that with somebody's hoodie or somebody's jacket. Who do you want to thank? Man, Roger Carroll first. He's, uh, he's fought more, you know, he's been fighting since probably I was six or seven years old. Um, he fought when they were wearing, they were bare knuckle Valley Tuda. Uh, he's had a black belt since I started. I remember rolling with him as a white belt. Uh, and he told me the first one of the days I rolled, he would give me my blue belt if he was my instructor. You know, I just have so much respect for him. Uh, that's where the first thanks go. The rest is, of course, my Jimmo tribe. Uh, to my girlfriend, to the sponsors that I have, man, it's amazing. Uh, the journey just keeps getting more fun and more fun. I fought some guys early in my career, you know, and I kind of got behind the ball. Uh, my run started. Um, I need three or four more fights, and I'm making a run at the 185-pound division. Uh, I think I got a couple, one or two more in this. Uh, I just want to thank everybody, man. It's a beautiful. The support's unreal, and if you've seen all the people in there, it was, it was unreal as well. So, just super humble. <laughs> The second pro fight of the night features Meshach Adams and Keith Rockstar Richardson. This one would also end in the first round with Keith Richardson getting his win and retaining his title belt. Last year, 2018 wasn't good for you. How does it feel getting back inside the cage and getting this victory? Um, you know, it's always good to get in a fight lab cage. You know, that's always been my home. Um, you know, I I felt good. You know, I was fighting you know some of the best opponents in the world, and you know, I was taking risks. And you know, I got a uh, you know, I got no re no regrets with some of the fights that I've taken. Uh, but you know, it always feels good to be back in the victory column. Uh, and yeah, um, I think I'm uh, ready to put a put a run together. You know, this fight week, uh, you know, I felt better than I have in a long time. So, yeah, I think uh, I think I'm just getting better. Like How does a fine it, wine? How does it, because you have been away from the fight lab cage for a while, just feeding off of those fans uh, who support you so much. You know, through thick and thin. You know, fighting in front of them. Um, I missed my hometown. You know, 
And like, you know, it's uh cheer, cheer, cheers and booze, you know, they uh like I thrive off energy anyway. Cheer, cheers and booze actually don't really um yeah, make a big difference in the cage sometimes, but damn, there's something uh something about going to a packed house and like you know just hearing people go nuts for you it gives you that extra little boost right before the match starts. And I was gonna say this past two opponents you've had with Fight Lab, they've had a sizable crowd come inside and, and challenge the throne uh, of Keith. You know, do, do you hear those guys? You know, cheering from the other guy a little bit. So, sometimes, like sometimes you'll, you'll just hear some odd things outside of the cage. Um, sometimes you hear some odd things inside the cage. I'm not, I'm not gonna uh, go into any details, but if you sit next to a uh, Avery Evans at a uh, Fight Lab event, like you're gonna hear some weird shit. Uh, rapid, uh, who do you want to thank? Cause I only got my battery lights blinking on me. Um, yeah, I want to thank all my guys over at Modern Warrior MMA. You know, uh, one team, one family. Uh, you yeah, know, it's more than just a, uh, a slogan. You know, we. Uh, yeah, we win together, we lose together, you know, we, uh, you know, we put in a lot of work. Um, CBDMD, uh, they've been a great sponsor for me, keep me, uh, keep me moving. Um, 007 Bail Bonds, uh, Richardson Rescue, uh, my fellow Marines, i um, always been supportive of me. Uh, you know, I'm sponsored by two, uh, two great um, Marine charities. Um, the guys over at Highest Nine for help, uh, I helped me with training camp this go around. You know, uh, Battle Taco, um, t Tom over there, um, yeah, uh, Shmik who you saw tonight. You know, I've got a great, great amount of support. Uh, you know, no MMA fighter does it alone, so yeah, that uh, that's definitely made a positive impact. <laughs> Final fight tonight is Tony Tyler Rogers versus Dermot, the problem child group. This one will also end in the first round with a little controversy. What do you see here? A lot of back and forth on the internet going on here. It is a rule for no controversy. And I talk with real over Um, first and foremost, man, uh, I got respect for my opponent. He stepped in there. I just wanted to make sure he was okay. Um, but, man, I, I had the Kimura. Um, his arm started straightening, so I knew I couldn't get the Kimura anymore. And I seen his knees was de wasn't there. I seen his hand was. I used the Kimura to lift him up. And when I lift him up, I knew his hand was coming up. And I, was up. I, don't, I didn't see his hand on the ground anymore. So for this, I'm sure his hand on the ground. You look like you're great out there. Both you guys are going at it, and you, you overcame some stuff just to just to go in the cage and, and do that. Who do you want to thank? Uh, I want to thank all my coaches, man, and you know, all my teammates. They train with me day in, day out. My family, man, because uh, I got three kids, man. So that's why they hit me a lot, because training three times a day, man, don't get to see my kids like that, man. And, you know, coming home and they going to bed, they, they crying, you know, just to spend a little time with me, man. So, you know, this, my girl, she spent countless of hours. She spent countless of hours, uh, 
you know, watching the kids, making sure I be able to train, man. And like I say, for me to come out here and and, and like this so early, man, like that's not how it was supposed to be. Yeah, you're a warrior inside the cage. Mm -hmm. We know that much. Thank you very much. Yeah.